Hello YouTube and I am getting vaccinated tomorrow. Uh, today is the 27th of May 2021 and even though world deaths is almost at a maximum and daily cases is still very high, I think this might be the last of my coronavirus updates because for certain if you take a look at it for America, or for most of Europe, it looks absolutely fantastic. You know, this world uh, picture is kind of distorted in that almost all of this extra lump on the end here is due to the outbreak in India. So if we come to India, you'll see there's this huge spike, which is 4,000 cases per day. World deaths was uh, about 15 or so. So you know, one third of the world's cases... Um, uh, in India. Uh, for most of the rest of the world, well, okay, let's start with America. America looks really very good at the moment in that uh, deaths are going down strongly. It's down to less than a thousand per day now. Um, and confirmed cases is way down. The, I'm not quite sure how the John Hopkins thing counts the vaccine doses administered. Uh, you know, if you need two doses, I think it might count as two doses. Uh, because that's that would mean that like 90% of America has been vaccinated. You know, a population of America is just over 300 million, 290 million doses administered. Still almost 0.6 million deaths, which means that, you know, for that year... Uh, coronavirus would be the leading cause of death for the country, but only only just. I mean, that that still means that this is comparable to smoking or drinking-related deaths, that sort of thing. But it does mean, still, that there are an awful lot of excess deaths this year. Uh, you come across to Europe, and France is doing the same. It's sort of crashing down on everything, you take a look at the UK, the UK looks absolutely amazing, especially when you look at the deaths. I do have a little pause for concern that the cases haven't gone to zero like the deaths have. Um, so it's conceivable that this is some sign of a variant. It does actually slightly uptick there at the end, which is... Uh, yeah, uh, I don't like it, but I mean, it could just be that it it's yeah. There's some little outbreak in in the UK or something. I don't know the details there, but I mean, if you take a look at deaths, it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, you're down to single digit deaths from up at over a thousand per day. So uh, yeah, that's um, a factor of a hundred down, uh, which is quite impressive. Um, and, yeah, you know, Italy, cases are dropping, deaths are dropping. <clears throat> and it's the same all the way across Europe. <clears throat> Germany, it's a little funny in that the cases are dropping like crazy, deaths not so much. Uh, Czech Republic, you know, Poland is the same. Poland was looking very bad for a while, but now their cases drop, their deaths drop. Czechia, where I am, uh, I mean, this is incredible. I mean, back here, we were one of the most infected countries in the planet, at you know 200 deaths per day now it's down to you know it's at least 10 times lower than it used to be and i yeah like i was saying i get my in my vaccine tomorrow uh so population of czech here is about uh, 10 million 5 million have had vaccines it says 1.6 have actually been confirmed as having the virus this number you can probably quite happily double um <laughs> In that, yeah, that there are a lot of unconfirmed cases, um, yeah, but that means that you know you're you're well into the herd immunity at this point, so you expect this number to crash like crazy. And yeah, it's it's very much like that all across Europe. There's only two blots on the landscape. One of those is India, which, like I was saying, they are at almost peak deaths and a third of a million case, 0.4 million cases per day, which is, those are confirmed cases. And, you know, India has a, um, they don't have many doctors per, 
per capita. So it, it's like these numbers are significantly underreported. I think India is one of those countries where uh, they have a huge number of deaths, even ignoring the coronavirus, where the cause of death is, is just not reported. Anyway, um, the other blot on the landscape is places like Brazil or anywhere in South America where the cases have never really gone down, the deaths have never really gone down. And that's a pattern that you will find across, you know, so you go to Argentina and it's a similar pattern, you know, the cases, they're going up still and deaths are still going up for Chile. And, you, you know, it, it's just been persistent down there. So I'm not quite sure what to make of that. Um, but if you're in Europe or North America, I think at the moment it's looking really pretty promising. The, uh, you know, bar some surprise, like a new variant, the completely circumnavigates the, the vaccines, which is possible. It's unlikely, but possible. The this is kind of getting on for the end. I mean, you do have to get enough people vaccinated that you you stop the native spread rate, and it's possible that there'll be some resurgence of it later in the year. Um, but, yeah, I mean, at the moment, it's looking really pretty promising. Uh, total deaths, by the way. Um, yeah, I mean, even if you take a look at America, it's 0. 0.6 million deaths uh, from this. If you take a look at it for the world, it's 3.5 million uh, for the world. And those are the confirmed uh, coronavirus deaths. Uh, if you take a look at excess deaths, the Economist did some modelling on this. They reckon somewhere between 7 and 13 million died from this in total. So, you know, we've got pretty reliable, uh, you know, number of people who die. You take a look at the number of people who normally die per year. The difference is the excess deaths. So if you say that the excess deaths are due to the coronavirus, not entirely true, of course. A lot of it is that um, if you block up your hospitals with the coronavirus sick, then that stops the hospitals from doing their regular work. So this causes excess deaths as well. But... Um, you take a look at places, most of the places in Europe and uh, North America, if you take a look at their excess deaths, they typically run at about 30% higher than the coronavirus deaths. So, you know, you take a look at whatever America reports as 0.6 million, it's probably up at nearer the million mark if you look at the excess deaths there. Um, but, you know, these are... There are, there are other countries in the world where they're, they, the cause of death isn't so well established. And, uh, yeah, these are just the confirmed deaths is three and a half million. So I could, yeah, if it was just America and um, Europe, that sort of thing, you'd probably add 30% to this number. Uh, if you're doing it for the world, yeah, doubling it, is probably in the right ballpark. Um, and yeah, they claim they've got some some numbers on this, which, whatever, sure. Um, well, I mean, here. Actually, this shows it nicely. I didn't realize this was here. You know, the, the excess deaths in Europe and America, they're up 30%. You, but you take a look in Asia. Oh, it'd be interesting to see which parts of Asia this is in. This is probably mostly India, I would guess. Um, yeah, um, but I don't know. Um, it'd be interesting to see that broken down for for China. So anyway, yeah, those are the excess deaths, um, according to The Economist anyway. So uh, I think for a lot of us, uh, this might be mostly over, and I really, really keep my fingers crossed for that. Um yeah, so hopefully uh, we won't have another pandemic whilst I'm alive. It'll be another 100 years till we get a decent one. 
Um, but it, it's it's been interesting, but I'm glad glad to see the back of it. And hopefully this is the back of it. So fingers crossed that we're not going to get any variants that give us any surprises. Um, I'm getting my vaccine tomorrow. Um, I wish you good luck and yeah. Um, thanks for watching and see you next time.